Guys, gosh darn all the heck, we just hit 50,000 fucking subscribers. And by fucking, I mean fucking, of course. Don't ask me again. If you guys remember when I first started this channel, I was like, my goal is to hit 50,000 subscribers. All for my beard, it's so crazy. Um, but now I got it. So in celebration, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shave everything off. I'm using my brios and I'm just gonna trim the whole beard off. And I'm gonna be starting a new YouTube channel um, I'm going to be doing um, covers of Taylor Swift songs, basically. I'm a huge T. Sweezy fan, and uh, so I feel like I feel like I need to dedicate my next channel to that. So this channel will be done after this, no more, and then I will be starting my Taylor Swift karaoke channel, and I will link that in the description below. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. You, uh, you fell for it, didn't you? Yeah, you. You fell for it. And how can you like Taylor Swift? We all know Beyonce should have won that award. Okay, so, guys, we're not trimming the whole thing off today, but we are doing a big beard trim, courtesy of the Brio Beardscape. If you guys don't know by now, if you follow this channel, you don't know about these by now, just, just whatever, loser, get out of my face. I've had my beard longer than this. I've also had it way shorter than this. But this is just, it's to the point where it's just too long for me. When I wake up in the morning, it's a shit show. Another problem when you get it long, if you can see, you can see through. Can you see through some of that stuff at the bottom? See how it slants down? So this is hard to see through because of all this supporting hair back here. But down here, you can't, there's nothing there to support. When you're looking through this, it looks transparent in this part. But up here, it looks thick when people are looking at you straight on. I don't like that. Look me in the eyes and look at my full ass beard. Okay? <laughs> so I'm always, so I've always been, that's one of the main reasons I've always been a, been a fan of like the, uh, the less sloping beard. So more of a square, squared bottom beard. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do a big beard trim. If you wanna, if you wanna get like a, a, a shorter beard for the summer, if you want a shorter beard just in general, your woman hates it or something like that, you wanna keep your beard but you don't wanna make it super long, uh, this is the video for you. Also, guys, we hit 50,000 subscribers. The, the giveaway is gonna be crazy, okay? Trust me on that. I'm gonna make sure that it's crazy. I'm gonna spend a lot of money shipping a lot of shit out. There's definitely gonna be more than 50 winners. Actually, let's start right now. Let's, I had an idea right before I filmed this. So the Brios, you know, I'm a huge fan of the Brios. If you buy from today on, whatever this upload date is, if you buy a pair of Brio Beardscape, show me your Amazon receipt from today. I'm going to LA for like four days to film some shit with some people and then I will be back and when I get back I will pick the winners for this so all I have to do is buy a Brio Beardscape um, show me your Amazon receipt and then show me send me a picture of you holding your Brios beardtubemail at gmail.com I'm gonna pick five of you maybe t maybe ten if there's if there's a lot of people that have entered I'll probably pick maybe pick ten and number one I will put you on the channel I'll put your face up here oh I also forgot James and Joe guys I fucking I, I called you out in the last video and I put your and your name and I just forgot to put your pictures up. So this is me hopefully not forgetting to put your pictures up. Most hum most humble apologies. Okay. Buy a Brio Beard, buy a Brio Beardscape. Number one, you will get to be on the channel. Number two, I will give you any one single item, beard oil, beard balm, beard wax, mustache wax, from my huge collection of beard products. And trust me, I have a lot. As long as it's not something I still have to review, I'm gonna give you anything you want. Some of the things I have cost like 30, $40. All right guys, so link, link will be in the description down below where to get these. Um, the, the link I'm gonna give you is for the new ones that have the black, um, instead of the light gray on the outside, they're black on the outside, which is way cooler. I have a pair, but um, I, haven't, <coughs> I haven't opened them because these still work just fine. At five or 10 people, I think it's a pretty good shot at winning something. Okay, so let's start off with this beard trim. Uh. Also very important, I just washed my beard. In the shower, I use that the Boss Man amazing conditioner. So that washes everything out of my beard, all the impurities, everything. I just get everything out of the beard um, besides some of the natural oils are still there. What I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with these sides that kind of dip out a little bit. You see that? I hate that. It makes me feel fat. Okay, so we're gonna start with a three millimeter, put it on there. Go straight down to trim the sides here. And it shouldn't be a bunch of work. See that? Compared to that? Much better. Let's get this side down. Okay, now the sides are down and they're good. But if you notice up here, my sideburns are super long. 
while up here my hair is super short. So I'm gonna fade those in together to make them look even. I'm gonna start with this side, and a little trick I like to do is I go sideways with them a little bit, like this. Just quick, just like that, and that's like a pretty good fade. Uh, let's do this side now. Boom. We're faded so good. Okay, so now to take some length off, what we're gonna do is for me, I'm gonna comb this out, I'm gonna grab my trusty, musty, trusty, not musty, but trusty, can't comb. I'm gonna comb this thing out, see where we're at. It's very important periodically just kinda like comb your beard out during the trim and see exactly where your beard stands. See like even now, I can tell that like, this left side I could take this down a little bit. This little bump right here, a little bit, but that's just me being super picky. Nobody in real life's gonna walk up and be like, dude, your fucking beard's uneven, dude. You need to fix it. Cause I'd fucking roundhouse them right in the tooth. Right in the front tooth, roundhouse. Okay, so for length, we're gonna take the guard off. Shut your butt. So for me personally, when I can start, what I wanna do is find the spot where I can start seeing through the beard. Like a clear line, and that for me is like right about here. Now I don't know about you guys, but right about there for me is where I can start seeing through it. And where it becomes less um, dense because of this whole the science of the squared slope, whatever the Newton's law of physics is for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna start right there and I'm gonna try and go from here, like straight back to make this almost a squared off um, line, hopefully. Everybody always asks me for my advice on like how to, like how to get my beard, like my beard's never perfect. I, I fuck these things up all the time, but it's never major enough to where you can really tell. And that's the secret of it. You're not gonna fuck your beard up enough unless you have a spasm, you're just like, Wah you're not really gonna be able to tell. So here we go. Right about there. This is me just looking right in the mirror and making like a uh, straight line back from what I can tell. Okay, now, that's my first initial cut. Now, if you look closely, it's crooked. Of course, it's sloping like this, but not a huge deal. And look at that. Let's see if I can get some armpit hair going here. Go pick, try and pick up girls like this. Hey, 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 what up? <laughs> okay, so now we can see that we're crooked. You see that, we're crooked? We're gonna fix it now. I'm just gonna take these and just kinda go side to side with them now, across. Now this is kind of a ballsy move, um, but I, I'm so confident with my trimmers and everything that I've done, I've done for so long that I'm gonna just no guard the sides and shape those as well. Fun fact, look at this. My chest hair grows into this, which grows into my neck hair. There's a, there's a faint line here, like a nonstop line of hair. That's, that's how hairy I am, guys. It's bad. Okay, so we're gonna start shaping this up. I'm gonna try and lean as much towards you guys as I can so I can show you. I feel like one of those daredevil um, trapeze artists right now. Another thing is with these, like under under my neck, my hair curls under like this. So when I stretch it out, this hair is super long. This hair stays this length, but this hair will go down to here. Normally, um, I don't pull it out and trim it. Um, the reason for that is in its natural state, it curls under. So when I pull it out and trim it, it's just gonna leave less hair under here than would make it look straight and dense. So your best bet is to leave it be. If it's naturally laying like that, then that's how you want to trim it. I don't know about you guys, but for me back here is like the hardest place to trim, I hate it. For me, this is like perfect. 
Like that looks pretty damn decent to me and I'm happy with it. And this feels so much better than that big, huge monstrosity I had on my face. Guys, no, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was great. I got a lot of damn compliments for sure from that beard. But I get plenty of compliments on my beards like this. I like the way it looks. It takes less product. It's easier to maintain when I wake up in the morning. Regardless of whether I put product in it that night or not, the long beard is, is much harder to maintain whenever it comes to trimming, not trimming, but like getting your beard straight in the morning. And it's just a shit show. Another thing that you might have noticed when I had it long was this, I would have this dip, because this is my chin. My chin goes out like, boom, I got, I have like a big Spartacus chin. It goes out like this, and then it, it bends under right here where my chin ends, and so it'd make like a curvy line out. When it's shorter like this, I don't get that. We're a lot straighter, see how straight we are, versus before it was like down to here. This, I haven't taken very much length at all off the back. It's mostly off the front here. Okay, serious time over, guys. Now, ideally, I would take another shower. I didn't really think that one out, <laughs> um, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna comb this out really well, and then I'm gonna towel off myself and hopefully be good. I'm gonna get all the loose hairs out of here. Okay, so now let's put throw some product in. I'm just now about to edit this, get it uploaded for the morning, and then head to bed. Um, so it's not gonna be a super critical night by any means. I'm just gonna grab some, uh, some of my go-to, I'm just gonna grab some Artist Man go-to beard stuff. I also mentioned um, last video, the Artist Man does free samples and a lot of people just act, I guess they didn't know. But ser if you go to Artist Man, there's a free sample section. You pay like two bucks for shipping and they'll send you a few samples out of whatever you want. And that's a great way for you to like test out and see what you would, what scent you would like from Artist Man. And then also if you do like the scents and you wanna get a full size bottle or something, if you put this, the code SCUBA in, you get 20% off. Artist Man is hooking it up, guys. It's an amazing deal. This oil is so thick, and the reason I'm putting it on before I go to bed, what, so before I go to bed, I'm either gonna put on some beard jelly or some Artist Man. The only, I'm going with Artist Man right now because I really want this, this uh, I've been really digging this spice latte scent, and I want some of that in my beard. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. It smells so good. Guys, that is such a good smell. I'm gonna get it in the beard. I put it, I doled out the amount that I would put in my big beard. <laughs> Not realizing I just cut my, so I'm gonna have a bunch of extra here. Let's rub it on the tattoos and shit. Okay guys, giveaway is coming very soon. I'm going to LA early Saturday morning. Then I'm coming back like Wednesday or something. When I get back, I will pick the winner uh, for the Brio Beardscape. If you buy one of these, make sure you just screenshot me your receipt from Amazon and then show me that you actually got them. So yeah, stay tuned guys. The real giveaway is gonna be, the big giveaway is gonna be fucking big. My main thinking behind this channel is using my influence with YouTube to be able to hook you guys up with as much shit as possible, okay? Whether it's discount codes, products, help, whatever. I wanna give as much to you guys as I can. I just, I just want you to be my friend, you know? I just want you to be my friend. Just kidding, I got a lot of friends and stuff. I'm the, I'm the popular kid. I'm the, po I'm the popular kid. Mom! Mom, look how popular I am! <laughs> okay guys, and that's the video. <laughs> and that's the video. Guys, whoever, um, also, yesterday's giveaway, the sandwich was a Reuben. I'm honestly disappointed in so many of you for not knowing that about me. I always talk about Reuben sandwiches. Just kidding, guys, but thanks for watching. Thanks for the 50K. It's gonna be a great, it's gonna be amazing. By the end of the year, we're gonna get 100K on this channel, and it's gonna be crazy the amount of shit I can get for you guys. Like double. <laughs> Like double what I can get at 50, <laughs> logically. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching. Again, just a huge thank you from me to you guys. Never hesitate to Snapchat me, it's scubaditas. Uh, my Twitter, scubaditas. Always reach out to me, I'm, I'm always, I'm not amazing at, at like, but I'm, I'm pretty good at like getting back, especially on Snapchat, like getting back with people, snapping people back, and Twitter as well. But yeah guys, it's been a great ride so far. And I love you. Was that too early? Was that too early? Should I not have said that? Yeah. Well, there's no coming back from that. Okay, make sure you hit thumbs up, and then um, if this is your first time to the channel, hit subscribe, because I got a lot of cool beard content you can watch. Also, if you're new, I don't love you. Not yet. But it could grow into that. Just being honest. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay bearded. Later.